There are a number of people who complain about the large amount of mathematics and economics. Some think that it makes things overtly complicated so other people can't join in the discussion with regards to policy. And others say that, you know, the math or the concept of using math is fine. However, the assumptions behind the models are wrong and it doesn't correctly capture, you know, consumer behavior in a realistic way. Uh, this video isn't going to be a historical one about the origin of math and economics, but I'm going to discuss some practical reasons for as to why I see the framework of mathematics and economics as extremely beneficial for doing analysis. Uh, first things first though, um, let's try to answer the following question. Um, and this is an answer that I gave for myself because I think that, you know, no matter what career you're in, you have to think about what exactly you're doing. So the question is the following, what is the point of economic theory? So the answer I have for that is its goal is first and foremost to provide a framework for analyzing reoccurring market phenomenon and consumer behavior, meaning that you should be able to go and analyze a problem by just looking at its structure. That is the ultimate goal in economic theory. You may say that this is great in terms of thinking about your introductory courses, but with regards to uh, you know most economics education, uh, most people are exposed to problems involving calculus in their core intermediate and advanced uh, micro and macroeconomics courses. What about these utility maximization problems sol being solved? And what about these unrealistic pictures of firms maximizing profits and this extensive study of various macroeconomic models. So it should be noted uh, first and foremost that whenever you're dealing with a complicated system that is in motion, um, this motion in the context of economics being uh, with goods and services, you want to be able to keep track of what's going on. So just in terms of a practical point of view, you want to be able to write down mathematical equations and mathematical equations are a very concise way of going and keeping track of everything that is in motion. Without math, you're not able to go and, you know, see all of these things, right? So, you know, you can go and write very, very, very long essays in terms of informing policy. It's a lot easier to go and look at say a couple of equations to see like, oh, this is how we think what's going on is in the economy uh, as opposed to writing say like a whole big essay and stuff like that. So it's just from like a practical point of view. And what should be noted also, I mean, just in terms of what we're going and seeing in your economics education with solving these utility maximization problems and firms profit maximization problems we need to go and think about uh, what sort of solution concepts that we go and we have, right? So in those cases, we're going and in our consumer's case, we're getting a set of demand equations. In our firm's problem, we're getting a set of profit maximizing inputs. And in our macroeconomic uh, case, we're either getting some sort of policy function or steady states. All these solution concepts give us rules for how our model behaves in a particular set of circumstances. This is extremely important because these rules or these solution concepts are data generating processes. And what we do in when we're looking at a economy is that we're collecting data on this stuff and we're trying to go and say, okay, there's this data generating process going on. Where does it come from? So we go and we have this theory of there being a original objective problem that has to be solved. And from that solution concept, we get equations that represent a data generating process. So unless you're able to go and talk about data generating processes in a easier way or without math, I mean, I'm not so sure how you could go and, uh, you know, describe uh, data generating processes without math. I mean, you, I guess you can visualize it, right? Visualizations is very good. But if you want to add some sort of predictability that makes a sharp prediction, which isn't updated, you know, from usual estimates, like you were to use, say, a regression or, say, VAR or any other sort of uh, just purely statistical method, 
you're going to have to use economic theory. Also, when you're thinking from the perspective of policy, um, where you have governments that are making decisions which are going to go and impact people's lives, sometimes for generations to come, you better hope uh, that there is going to be some sort of scientific way to go and approach this problem, and not only just rules of thumb. So as long as we're able to generate tools and ideas which make sharp claims and which could be said, hey, that's wrong, as opposed to, you know, say a purely statistical model, which is useful in its own right and does help to go and inform this theory. And this is also to say that also descriptive methods are important because you have to go and understand this. But with a single mathematical equation or a set of mathematical equations we are making a very sharp claim about the world that could be tested that could be debated that could be discussed right and is actually more accessible to others who aren't really informed about the whole story the beauty of math in economics is that we're able to go and condense a lot of complicated ideas into a couple of lines and that's what I think is really cool and is really useful no matter where you end up so the reason why mathematics is useful in economics just to go and sum up everything is that number one it provides you a structure by which to go and analyze complicated problems Number two is that whenever you have a data generating process, you want to go and have math to go and describe that process. Number three is that it communicates information and theories about the world in a quick and efficient manner. Uh, so those are my thoughts on the topic about using math and economics. I hope this video helps. Let me know what you think. Like it, don't like it. Leave your comments below. Take care.